All right, my friends, welcome back to the channel. And in a follow-up video to my favorite Pixel 9 accessories, I wanted to give you a quick look at some of my favorite items for the Pixel tablet. It's been quite a while since we last talked about tablet accessories, and with Prime Day kicking off, I figured now would be the perfect time to put some items on your radar. First up is the EIP Magnetics keyboard case, and this guy I stumbled upon recently after Google introduced that new desktop windowing feature a few weeks back. That feature gave the Pixel tablet a Chromebook-like experience, which made me really crave a first-party keyboard case, and thankfully, I found this great third-party option on Amazon. In a nutshell, it's a folio-style case with a backlit keyboard and a built-in trackpad, so you have everything you could possibly need if you wanted to do work on the go like an actual Chromebook. I do find the keyboard is cramped compared to a traditional laptop keyboard, and the trackpad does feel cheaper than I'm used to coming from a MacBook Pro, but overall, everything is functional and is pretty much what I've been wishing Google would have released in the first place. I do like that there are a ton of features packed in here like keyboard shortcuts, function buttons for brightness, volume control, media controls, and even a screen lock. As I mentioned, the keyboard is backlit so you can get work done late at night, but it also has several color options, which is a nice touch. Another notable feature is the keyboard attaches and detaches magnetically so you can easily make needs to your setup on the fly and it recharges via USB-C where I have to top up maybe once or twice every two weeks. Build quality wise, the case itself feels good with a vinyl rubber fabric like material covering the outside folio portion. The kickstand itself feels firm with a ton of resistance so it stays in place when you need it. And there's a cutout so it can connect to the dock without having to actually remove the case. Lastly, it does have a stylus loop for storage and overall, this completes that mobile Chromebook like workspace I have been dying for since day one on the Pixel tablet. Definitely my absolute favorite accessory I've had to use so far. Far. Next up is another item I use quite often to get the most I can out of my Pixel tablet with a USI 2.0 stylus, and trust me, I get asked which stylus I'm using every time it appears on video. This one I use on a daily basis, and it's the Maxi USI 2.0 stylus pen, primarily meant for the Amazon Fire Max tablet, but I find that it works great for the Pixel tablet as well. The reason I use this pen is because it has all the benefits of USI 2.0, including pressure sensitivity, palm rejection, and a low latency connection. Thankfully, the pen itself does not need to be connected via Bluetooth, and it has a side button that functions in certain apps like Infinite Painter, for example, where it can open and close side menus. Otherwise, build quality is decent as it's made out of plastic with a matte-like finish, it uses quadruple-A batteries for power, and overall, it gets the job done for a reasonable price, around $35. US There's definitely other options out there with a better build and more features like the Panoval USI 2.0 pen, but at almost double the price, the Maxi version is more than enough for my needs, although the Panoval is worth it if you can get it for a good price. This next suggestion is for those that might want to add an extra bit of utility to their Pixel tablet, and I found a USB hub is a great way to do so. There are a ton of options available, but I ended up going with Anchor's 5-in-1 USB-C adapter. This comes with three additional USB ports, so you can connect an existing mouse and keyboard, or maybe a flash drive, so you can do more productivity-focused tasks. The the adapter also has an HDMI port, which yes, the Pixel tablet does not support HDMI out, but it has come in handy a million times since I've gotten this adapter. I have a ton of other devices like a Chromebook, my MacBook Pro, even the Pixel 9 that do support display out, and just having it available has saved me more often than you know. Plus, the adapter does have an Ethernet port, which is great for when Wi-Fi is inconsistent. I can plug it in directly for the fastest speeds possible, so I found this item was always great to have no matter what. What. The last item on my list might seem obvious, but the official first-party Pixel tablet case is a fantastic accessory. Of course, it is designed for the Pixel tablet in every way, with a built-in metal ring to prop it up at multiple viewing angles. As expected, it's fully compatible with the dock thanks to those pass-through charging pins, and it does offer good protection against accidental drops while remaining relatively slim. Personally, I do think the design complements the minimal aesthetic as well, and I find this is a solid case as a whole. I will warn you though, I did manage to damage the bottom corner of mine because I was constantly taking it in and out of the case to take photos for the website, so you should be careful. And a huge downside is the price as it typically sells for 80 US dollars, so definitely be on the lookout for sales. So there you have it, these are my top Pixel tablet accessory picks. Whether you're on the lookout for Prime Day or just want some accessory ideas, I really do hope this video helped. This was supposed to be a super short list, but if you have anything you can recommend like case 
cases, keyboard, peripherals, and more, leave a comment below so your fellow Pixel tablet enthusiasts can take a look. In the meantime, I'm getting out of here, but before I do, huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now for supporting us as we work super hard to make the best Android content possible. We love you guys, and don't forget to grab the October wallpaper pack in the community post. For now, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.